Welcome to Celtics post game live. Eddie House, Amina Smith here with you. The Celtics fall to the Denver Nuggets 102 to 100. The win streak at home inside of TD Garden comes to an end, and it was a back and forth battle between both of these teams for the entire game. Eddie, where did the Celtics lose this matchup? I, w I would say not taking advantage of the the offensive rebounds that we got. Uh, I think right there to close out the first half, we had four offensive rebounds and we jacked up three threes. Right off of, of a rebound, kick out, jack up three, miss. Another kick out, jack up three, miss. Another jack out, kick out, jack up three. And the same thing happened right there late in the game. But also you just got to give credit to, to the world champions. Yeah. Let's not forget that that is the world champions out there. That is the defending uh, NBA champions. And, and they have championship medal. And one thing that they're not going to do is they're not going to give up. They're not going to uh, – and let me apologize. Mm. Apologies. You are, you, are, you are not familiar with Jamal Murray's let, game. <laughs> let me apologize for what I was saying about Jamal Murray and not being a superstar. Tonight showed me, because this is one of those moments. This is where it separates. And as Scal comes in with his air Pinocchios, it, this, was a, this was a night that where he definitely showed me that he is a superstar. Well, you was talking about that earlier. Uh, but he's, he's a superstar. I, I got it. You know what? He, 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 uh, he made me a hating. believer. I wasn't hating. No, no, I wasn't no, no, hating. No, no, yes, you were. He, he made me a believer. We Put your shoe hating. up here. <laughs> we're going to talk about that later. <laughs> <laughs> we got to give him the whole story. Get the air pocket. No, we got to give him the whole story. You can't just do that. Just drop the shoe on right Why up. not? Take okay, it off. So, Murray. A superstar. Come on. You're going to stamp him? I'm going to stamp him because of this reason. What I tell these guys? But look, right, it's in, this, it's in this game, though, in the, not, not saying moving forward, this game made me the believer. In, in this not game, the finals? I, not I mean, the Eastern, Western Conference finals? No, not all those? This, this game right here. This game right here against the best team in the league. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? I mean, he can hoop, man. No, he's a baller. Yeah. He's a baller. Ain't now, no he might give you seven against Charlotte. <laughs> that ain't superstar type. But see, that, that's the thing I was talking that ain't about, though. When, you, yeah, that's when how we're it. talking about superstars in the pregame show, I'm thinking about, okay, like, if you play in a team like Charlotte or maybe San Antonio, yeah. you come out, you have some – you can't be a superstar some nights and not the other nights. But he's a star, though. He's a star. Jamal Murray is a star, and he proved that tonight, Scal, against the Celtics. Fourth team. quarter, when Jokic on the bench, he came in. And yep. everybody knew the ball was going to go to him, and he dominated. He came in and got got people in the right position. He made those shots going left, a little pull up, and it was right on line, no rim every single time. So there's all those stop gaps, right? When when Jokic goes to the bench, it's a big problem for Denver. But if he's doing that, they're winning most of those games. Like I said. How many times, I don't know this answer, I could probably figure it out. How many times have Jokic came in a game up two and lost that game? Not many. Mm. Not many. All right, well, let's take a look at the fourth quarter and how it went down for this Celtics scene. They were down two in this fourth quarter. The final minutes of the fourth quarter, the Celtics trying to make something happen. The Nuggets up by two. You got a double lane violation right here. Jokic and the guys, they jump into the lane. This leads to a jump ball. Take a look at it again one more time. Chris has Porzingis, Jalen Brown. They take the bait. They get into the lane, but Jokic also in the lane as well. Jump ball. Jason Tatum gets it. Calls a timeout right here, and this is probably the first time I've seen uh, Joe Mazzula run for the timeout. Uh, Derek White makes the inbound, and of course, Jason Tatum with the fall away shot. We've seen it, Scal, time and time again. Tatum taking that shot at the end of the game. What did you think about the last sequence of this matchup? It didn't look like that, like their spacing, that didn't look like that that was the play. So I don't know why they went to that. If you're going to go to an isolation, you want to have guys in different areas. I don't know what the plan was for that for that play, but that's what the end result was. So, it, it, I mean, it didn't work out. I don't care what their plan was. Eddie, what did you think was supposed to happen if that wasn't supposed to happen in, in, in the final minutes of this well, game? I think they were trying to get the ball to Jason Tatum, but what happened was they had Michael Porter Jr. on the ball, Derek White taking it out, much more size. Now the pass is offline. Look at that. Throws Tatum off of his spot, and I think that his in, internal clock – was a lot faster. It was, I don't think I could see. It was a lot faster than what the time actually allow him to have. He could have took a little yeah. bit more time so he right was there. Are you saying he was sped up? Because I think because of the pass. The okay. pass was thrown off, so then he, he instantly started getting sped up because he could have took his time and got a lot better shot yeah. than that. But it, you know what? It don't really come down to that. What, no, but, it, but, but like five, four, three. It's a he long time. It is, you know? a, a he turning. can hit, hit. 
hit, and then go fade. Yeah. You know, it just felt like he, he rushed it. And he didn't have to. And I think it's because of that pass, you know, and so give Denver their credit. But it wasn't lost there. I think think about the wasted possessions we had when we got offensive rebound after yeah. offensive rebound, and it was end up in a three. And then we shoot to jack that three up. We miss, get another offensive rebound, kick it out to somebody, jack another three, miss it, get another rebound. Jack. At some point, you say, hey, we got to slow this down a little yeah. bit. Let's get a good possession here. We have a good team here. We have guys that we trust. It doesn't have to play hero ball. And I think we got caught up in just the, the moment of, of trying to do something. And, and it, it's not a bad thing when you have guys that want to step up and make the right play or make the play for your team. But at the same time, you know, it, I, I think we have a high enough basketball IQ on this team to where we should realize that we had seven possessions, offensive rebounds, and seven looks where we couldn't get it done. And, and you know, that, that's going to come back to Hawks. I got to ask. Because I was into the game. I didn't see. Why do you think we struggle to execute against the Denver Nuggets? They're not. Like, you know, let's just go down. Like, Michael Porter. Like, they're not. I thought they were physical. They, they, they were. I thought they were physical. No and question. They but they should not spots. be. But why? Why? Did, but, you know, I, mean, I hate to bring it up. Miami's going to be physical, too. Like, yeah. so I'm just. Why do we? Why do we struggle to execute today? That's what I don't. I have to rewatch, but to me, I, I feel like we have matchups everywhere, and everything we did, it was it was rigid. There's nothing smooth out there. There was very few great possessions for us. I don't have an answer for well, you. Look, in the first half, we had 11 fast break points. We were getting stops. We were keeping them off the glass. We were keeping them out of the paint. We only had two in the second half, right? Points in the paint. We were up 22 to 16. Points in the paint at halftime. We only won by four, 40 yeah. to 36. So we got dominated in the paint in the second half, and our assists went down. We had uh, where's 15 assists, 22 field goals, only 21 assists at the end of the game on 38. I mean, those are the things right there. You kind of go away from whatever it was that you were doing, yeah. and sometimes that happens. Yeah, they, they took us out of what we normally play like. We, they took us out of our pace. They took us out of you know execution. They pushed us off the line. Like it was, it was tough for us to do things today. And I was, I was a little disappointed in the way that we played like that because I just feel like Denver's solid defensively, but I feel like we should be able to get into our stuff, get our stuff, and I just didn't – that game didn't feel like we got any of that today. In the second half especially. Yeah, in the second half. And Nikola Jokic had 34 points, 12 rebounds, and 9 assists, and really, Eddie, I feel like this Celtics team didn't really have an answer for the Joker at all. Well, the NBA doesn't. Right. You know, they don't have an answer, and then I'll say this. And this is not going out on no kind of limb. It's just saying it's ain't no hot take or anything. If he's playing like this and Jamal Murray is playing the way Jamal Murray is playing, this team is extremely tough to beat. I don't care how we want to slice and how we want to dice it, whatever you want to cut it up and try to make it sound cool. No, it's not. These two guys right here – and. I don't want to say they're the best duo in basketball because they do so many different things. But when we talk about the best duos, what, like two man two, game, two man game, two man, they're the best in the league. They are the best two man two game. man game running a two man game. Yeah. I will give you that. They are the best two man game and they read off each other. They play off each other. They feed off each other. I mean, there's nothing you could do about that right there. And one thing about uh, Jokic. He going to punish you. Mm. He doesn't get – he's trying to get where to his spot, and he'll do it with physicality. And one thing I did see, that that last bucket he made in the fourth quarter, his first – actually, he made a pass. His first step yep. is a lot faster than what people think it is. That first step for a seven-footer to be trying to guard or a big man that's not used to seeing somebody that, that has the, the ability and the talents that he has – when I seen that, first, I was like, okay, that's the difference maker right there. That's why he gets so much space. That's why he's able to create so much space. And Jamal Murray had 35 points, eight rebounds, and five assists. Scout, why was Jamal Murray able to have so much success against the Celtic team? That's very Cause, talented cause from top to bottom. Because he was hating on them? Because Eddie was hating on them. I was hating on them shoes, and they still don't got success. <laughs> and he was calling him a casual. Not I didn't casual say that. Guy. I did not say that. I said he was a star. <laughs> I said he was a star. <laughs> Star. Because, like, uh, I hate to say it, but he's, like, 100% about that life. Like, he likes big games. He likes to, you know, be on national TV. He likes to be in Boston, and no one's coming here and won. And, he, I mean, that's why they won a championship. Because he was, like, he, I mean, he's tough. Like, you'll, he'll fade away in the distance. There's a good chance that he ain't making the all-star team in the Western Conference. And he should. 
It's crazy. Ain't no question that he shouldn't, though. But it's it's crazy. You start looking at the guards, you're like, man, he might be on the outside looking in. But that's because he doesn't bring it every single night. But on nights like this, yeah. look at this. See, that was the only thing I'm thinking about, Jamal Murray. If you don't bring it every single night, then you can't really be, at least in my opinion, in that superstar category. I feel like you got to bring it every single night. But, but it's tough. At least but, most but, nights. But hold on, Amina. If we're only if we're talking about winning the championship. And he delivers on the biggest stage. Doesn't that make him a superstar? I mean, yeah. He, I, say, a, I say he's a superstar. Superstar gamer. Ga that's exactly how about right. a, I feel how like about something a little bit more specific than calling him a superstar. And I look sure. at Nikola Jokic and I say, that's right. a superstar in this league. I look at Jason Tatum. That's a superstar in this league. Jamal Murray, he's teetering like right but in between not, stars. Not May and, and June, he's you know not. What? But that's, and you're right. But you know what? That's when it matters. I, yeah. I, I was thinking that same thing. But tonight, he, no. He I, punished. He, tonight, he, he's a he proved to me that he's a super. Yo, you gonna pull them off? Yo, we're gonna have, oh we're gonna tell little, this little story. <laughs> hey, make sure this ain't stink. Does that do them things stink? We, <laughs> let me got tell some you. Older eaters in them bad boys. What, let me, we've been, let me what tell y'all what happened. World, what hey, look. Those? Hey, this this is what you never. Hey, <laughs> everybody that's back here, don't ever have something like that in your closet, right. please. What is, All right, let me tell you. Oh, let me tell you guys a little story. Okay, a long time ago, when Eddie played and I played, probably in 2009, I wore these right, and Eddie and I was thinking I was fly like I was thinking I'm some European this and that with my straps and everything like that feeling good Eddie House comes up to me and he's like oh those are nice and right away I can my, my radar uh, he about to kill me for this right he goes those are the uh, Geppetto make those these are the air Pinocchios right here right <laughs> And today, you and, see the air bubble in the back. And let me tell you, ever ever since I see these in my closet sitting there, this is over. This is almost 20 years, years now. Yeah, 15 years. Yeah, I think of Eddie House, right? And I knew he was gonna be here today, and I'm facing my demons, man. So I put these bad boys on. I came in here, and he jinxed and I, us. And I don't and care. He and he jinxed us. I don't care. Hey, what get you these say. up out of here. Get this shoe out of here. Then he hit me right at the end. Shoes. So he moved on from that. And he said, "Like, you got some. You you got off the Peloton in these things." <laughs> Eddie has been clowning. Oh on man! These he came in walking with his toes up. In. But I tell you what, I didn't care. Like Ed, for 15 years, I thought of Eddie House every time I looked at them shoes. Like, ooh, oh. he killed me. I ain't gonna wear them. But today, I was wearing them. Oh, That's my it. Whoa.